welcome this is the full moon reading for um, the month of September October from the 15th of September to the 15th of October I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and um, this full moon for you guys is going to be really a full moon because it's a month of healing and it's the hair energies and I'm saying that a lot of you water sign um, zodiac energy vibration because this is a full moon for the water sign elements and the water sign zodiac energy vibration people what is happening and what is transpiring is that there is a you know a real transit that is coming in for you guys so this is good and I'm seeing a lot of you water sign people helping other people so let's check out and see remember we start with to look at the 12 aspects of the house but first we look at the fire sign people just as the people who were um, born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and you are the fire sign people okay so let's move in and see what is happening okay and then we are going to be looking at the moon people um to see what is happening and those are the people who are very emotional okay so um what we have uh, um as um an energy that is going to affect is a lot of opportunities is going to be coming up for you guys so this is good a lot of opportunities is going to be coming up to you because the sectors from opportunities because i'm seeing a lot of you um, helping out and go check out the monthly readings because you're going to be realizing that a lot of you want to signs a lot of opportunities especially if you have been helping others a lot of opportunities are going to be coming out so let's go in so the Sun people you are the energies of the being okay your essential your energy is always the ego <laughs> in the video also you know so next time you meet someone with a huge ego and they're either Leo or they were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. okay so what is happening for you guys is that there is uh, some uh, um, <clears throat> obstacles um, I call the Queen um, the Queen Conox obstacles that you need to work on um, obstacles and channel for um, you Sun people but the outcomes is that you're going to be um, empowering yourself so there are obstacles there are situations that you're trying um, to put um, in the right order or put in right places there is a lot of this that is going on but what I'm seeing is that conjunction of a lot of empowering that is going to be transpiring and this is going to be good because when we look the outcomes is going to be your empowering yourself so for you send people um, with the egos and I said the egos because um, that is what is going to be working out that some of you send people you people that was born at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. there is a lot of puzzles that you're trying to fit together and a lot of challenges that is going to come up for you but you're going to be empowered and overcoming these okay yeah um whew. these these things does happen and especially when the challenges and the complexity but after that you are going to be empowering yourself and it's going to be good for the emotional people the people that was born off the um 6 p.m server um in the evening um you are the moon people what is going to be happening and transpiring is that we are going to be seeing a lot of changes coming up for you people um, a lot of changes and it has to do with you're going to allow things to flow okay you're gonna allow things you're not gonna work against anything you're just gonna allow things to balance out it's as if some of you are just letting go now it's, it's, it's as if this period for you guys is just about letting go you're letting go you're just letting go whatever is happening let it happen you're going with the flow okay so um, you know you've reached you're so emotional your emotionals has reached a place that hey, I can't hold things from happen whatever is going to be let it be because this is a, a situation where allowance is the name of the game for you guys because as you allow things to flow it's going to be flowing in the right tune and the right flow and you are going to be uh, receiving unexpected gift unexpected things are going to be coming up so this is good please um 
um, remember to clear your energy vibration so let's clear our energy vibration before we begin this reading I can feel <laughs> oh, like as if an energy vampire is on me so let's see what is happening um, so we're calling up on the angels and guy Archangel Michael and all the universal angels to come in and protect us as we go through this reading and um, this is the energy vibration reading Archangel Anya Archangel Raphael all the mighty powerful angels come in and release us from whatever energy vampire that is around us to clear the energies and let's see what's coming out all right so in the self there's definitely going to be changes in the self for communication in the third house Jupiter is in the house of family for you guys so that is good Saturn is coming up with your passion Pluto is coming in the seven house intimacy new love is coming in uh, or there is going to be a change of energy in love Uranus um, where some of you could be surrendering Aquarians okay so Uranus is here where some of you could be surrendering an Aquarius so whatever is that in the hate house of intimacy there is love there's beauty there's harmony so that is that is just so powerful because you guys really love love okay so um, whatever you feel as if your energy is being um, sucked out it's by negative people it's people who are thinking negative about you sending you negative energies okay so you need to clear your energy you can call upon the angels of love but they're so um dainty so it's good to call upon archangel gabriel supervisor of tone element master fire fire salamander the fire dragons to come in and just clear the energy around you okay and you can actually feel it as if you're in chills or you feel cold because they're removing the negative energies that is on you okay so let's see what's coming up for the water sign we see the Scorpio with self you're going to be meeting yourself scorpion Gemini coming up in their house so the Gemini's are going to be helping you guys with a perception the Pisces are going to be finding their house of passion which is good um, very good I'm seeing some of you connecting in love with a Virgo so some of you could be meeting a Virgos and having a good relationship with a Virgo so that is good so um, remember that uh, 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 you can search and uh, you the cancers are in the fourth house the fourth house is about roots okay and there is some luck with family issue and family situation some of you um, if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius there is going to be unexpected luck with you and this person this situation whatever is going on with family okay in intimacy in love it's going to be good some of you could be meeting a Virgo whoever this heart sign is they're going to be you're going to be connecting with them the relationship is going to be hot passion is going to be coming up for the cancers you need to release something so you cancers could be released in a Pisces or a Pisces is going to be helping you cancers to release something okay so that's what happening in the 12th house we um, let's see um, where you guys fall the scorpions you're definitely going to be having a situation where you're confronting yourself looking at yourself at what as transpire what you have done Pisces I'm seeing Saturn helping you with your passion okay so um, Saturn is coming up and it's as if Saturn is going to help you um, to balance out what it is that you're looking for okay the mysticism and it's as if you're going to be connecting it's as if you're it's not really career but you're just going to have some discipline um, passion is going to come back in your life okay so we've looked at the scorpion the cancers um you're going to be surrendering whatever you car scorpion you cancers or surrendering you're in the fourth house and that is the house of the pisces so the pisces could be helping you use uh, cancers to surrender something or you cancers could be helping the scorpion and this is good because you both are water signs and you're helping out each other now the Pisces you fall in the house of the self so whatever is transpiring you are going to be <clears throat> confronted 
and it has to do with career you're going to be confronted you scorpion with yourself and something about your career so you scorpions expect that Pisces are sitting good they're sitting in the house of passion and this is good for you Pisces because you're sitting in the house of passion so what is happening is that there is a new uh, healing energy where the passion comes up there's a new healing energy where the passion comes up and this is good um, a very very positive uh, um, situation is here for you guys and it's the house the ninth house a very positive situation is here for you guys and I have something else to say which I'm um, as of the month of October you are going to have your individual full moon readings okay because a lot of people um, the collective energy is still going to be there but when it goes to the on demand you're going to be having your individual full moon reading and remember the full moon has nothing to do with the month it has to do with the 15 of one month to the 15 of the other one because it's all about the full moon and the challenges and the energies so let's um, get in this so in the first house from self what we have is there the scorpions are going to be feeling some personal issues it's as, as if you scorpion are going to be confronted by yourself you are going to be uh, hit over the head with something to do with career or something to do with the self now what is happening for you scorpion is that an awakening about your career is going to be coming up and it's as if some of you could be finding out that you're in the wrong career or some of you are not liking where you are which in, in within your career okay it's as if the eat is put up underneath you and you need to make a transition in your career because Mars is the action where you need to take some action okay you are going to be seeing yourself and you're going to be realizing oh my god what have I done okay so you could have done something because you're pissed off and now you're going to be realizing oh shit what have I done I have made things worse for myself okay for the rest of you guys you're okay you you are balanced in the self you're understanding yourself and you're working things out second else the house of Neptune this is um, business money um, assets and that sort of a thing listen to your intuitions because by listening to your intuition what is going to happen is that some of you are going to receive some brilliant ideas okay um, this is how you're going to be healing your financial situation because some of you could be feeling financial situation because of an Aries now whoever this Aries is this person is a sick person okay if you are in business with this Aries or you're working with this Aries on the work floor, you gotta um, be careful um, with this Aries. Whoever this Aries person is, they're draining you of your financial situation. If you are married or in a relationship with an Aries, be careful because they're draining you of your financial situation. Your intuition is right about this Aries. Okay, so. Um, in order to heal your 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 financial issue um, you need to listen to your own intuition the third earth the house is the house of um, um, whew, perception and it's about the speech the thought and uh, um, you know how people situation um, the media sees you okay um, communication for a lot of you so if you are a presentator be aware that um, you know people could be um, criticizing you if you're a commentator or uh, yeah people could be criticizing you but this is the house of the Gemini's and the Gemini's are here to help you guys okay so this is good because um, and they also come with so a lot of you are going to be dealing with Gemini's because this is the house of the Gemini's they come with their own planet of Mercury to teach you how to communicate much better much clearer um, not only in thoughts but in mind um, how to communicate by speaking and speaking up so this is going to be good so whoever this Gemini person is you fall um, you guys are going to be 
help by the Gemini's and the planet of Mercury. So you're going to be speaking up about situation, things around you that is not healthy, okay, or that you have seen. So it, that was what I said about commentator because this it came up as a commentator out there is going to be if you are a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, is definitely going to be affected by this. The fourth house and the house of the um, Aquarians, there is some luck with the family and whatever the luck is with the family, because this is the roots, okay? Whatever the luck is with the family, you could be dealing with an, um, um, an Aquarian. And this Aquarian could be bringing you some luck because they might be giving you an innovation idea to run with. It could be a girlfriend. It could be um, a partner. It could be a wife or a husband. Whoever this person is, they're going to give you some luck because of something that they're going to help you with. It could be a family member that is going to generate you a lot of uh, luck with family members it could be their family member your family member or it could be that you're married and you're always getting the backlash from your exes or you're always getting the backlash from your in-laws and all of a sudden an Aquarius is going to step in or someone is going to step in but this is coming up as an Aquarius is going to step in and then ease that pressure off you and that's going to happen for the cancers because it's the house of the cancers for the rest of you, I, um, a lot of you are going to be having luck. Um, so a lot of you are going to be having luck in the family. Okay, there is, family is good. Things are good in the family. In the house of the passion, Pisces, you fall in the house of the passion. So we have, there's two houses that you have to think about. Um, you Pisces fall in the house of the passion, which is good because it's as if your passion is going to be renewed. Whether you're passionate about life, you're passionate about work, you're passionate about what it is that you like to do, it's going to be renewed because Saturn is coming in to shake shake up things. Okay, so this is going to be good for you, Pisces. So it's going to be a good full moon for you, Pisces, because your passion is going to be awakened. So for the creative people, it's going to be um, from 15... Ugh. Uh, September till 15 October it's going to be good for the creative people um, to work on what it is that you like because you're going to feel the ignite of a new passion coming in as we look at so for the Pisces who does you know your passion is going to be triggered because it's in the house of the passion now for the sixth house, the sixth house is the house of the craft. Um, your work details about your work and that sort of a thing. Now, what it is here is that a lot of you are looking for your true north. Okay, so you Pisces are definitely looking for your true north. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, sorry, it could be a Pisces out there, but this is the house of the craft. So it's what you do as for work. So as some of you are going to be definitely going um, in search of uh, what it is. And it's, uh, um, a stem, uh, Capricorn is going to be helping you. So if you're going in business with a Capricorn, this is the good part. Because uh, whatever it is with your work, a Capricorn is going to be helping you to find your true north. You're, you know, the skeptical, maybe they ask you um, to do a project with them or work with them on a project. And because of that, you're going to be finding your true north. And this is going to affect the, a lot of people who are looking for what it is they desire to do and what works uh, give them pleasure. And a Capricorn is going to be helping you to do that, which is beautiful because Capricorns, uh, um, work good with the water sign people so that is good for the people who are looking for the divine life part seventh house of relaxation is the house of deliverance and there is a transformation so this transformation is good so transformation in um, um, relaxation so the transformation that is coming up is going to affect whoever is out there in a relationship with Leo's and it's going to affect the, 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 the lovers. So it's going to be in a positive way. There's nothing ending. There's no ending is, is that your relationship is going to be elevated in a very, very uplifted way. And this is good.
okay because you have the lovers and Leo so there is if you had a relationship with a Leo um, there is going to be a transformation or a Leo could be coming in your life to make some transformation this could be a friend this Leo is coming up as a friend for a lot of you with relationships I'm thinking that some of you are going to be taking the relationships to a higher level so um, maybe you're gonna hack someone to move in with you um, you're gonna be letting someone know that you know you want to spend the rest of your life some of you might want to um, engage to um, uh, you know but you're bringing the relationship to a higher level because you feel comfortable with this person you know that this person was meant for you okay so you're taking it to a higher level which is good in the intimacy there is a lot of love in intimacy and I'm so happy for you I'm water sign people so in the house of intimacy there is love there is a lot of love so this is wonderful so it's not only bang 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 without love there is love there is so much powerful love there is the feelings of love that is coming up in the house of intimacy and the alchemist of uh, the Virgos okay so this is wonderful so if you're in a relationship some of you could be meeting a Virgo or if you're in a relationship with a Virgo you're going to be feeling uh, love like nothing else that the, the whatever or whoever but it is more for if you are in a relationship with a Virgo the intimacy is going to be you know off the chart and go and check out the love reading because this had this have um, an effect with you guys because it was also in your love reading for the rest of you in intimacy everything is going to be falling in place you're not going to be having any issues in that area if even there was issue in the past there's no more issues so the ninth house is a very wonderful house and I want you guys all to take a look at the night house it's about traveling it's about seeking new information it's about working and finding out new outlook on life okay so some of you are going to be changing in a lot of way because you're going to be having a new outlook on life now this is good because it has to do with the void you're going to be on a journey and trying to find new outlook for your lives okay so happy-go-lucky um, adventurous um, honest you're going to be bareback you're just going to be open um, uh, you know you're just going to be yourself okay and this is going to be uh, be good because you're going to just speak and be who you are without uh, feeling any backlash from anyone and this is going to be good then we're looking at the tent house of reputation and this tent house of reputation uh, reputation some of you are going to be receiving unexpectedly unexpectedly it's like someone is going to be receiving um like a liberal or a situation has been balanced and people are going to respect you is like unexpected your reputation is just so good okay like I your reputation is great but but whatever the issue is in the situation that was before a lot of you your reputation is going to be going off the chart unexpectedly something is just gonna happen and unexpected your reputation is just whoo as if uh, no you can never say anything bad about that person um some of you are dealing with a Libra and this Libra is going to be bringing back your and if you had a legal issue um um, it's as if the universe is going to just bring in the sort of energy that is going to revitalize your reputation okay so it's as if the universe there was some real BS that um, happened and then all of a sudden people are going to see that there was some lies and deception and your repetition is just going to be oh my god really yeah you know that sort of a thing all right so we are in the house of the Aquarians now some of you that was married or divorced or had a relationship with an Aquarian um, this is when the healing comes in between you and an Aquarian um, this is the house of being at the edge okay 
so whatever issues that some of you have had with an Aquarian whatever that was going on with you and someone else that you came to the edge where you were like I'm going to blow my top suddenly a healing is going to come in and you're going to be thinking you know something a loser and let it go because a Taurus is going to be coming in and this is good earth sign person is going to be coming in and balance you out and help you okay um, this Taurus is definitely going to be coming in there's going to be a healing between you and the Taurus out there um, because the house of the edge is with friendship so this is happening to friendships group creativity communication humanity oh um the tribe is as if you're going to be reconnecting with your tribe okay reconnecting with a people and you and a Taurus is going to be healing a situation an issue this is going to be good because this healing needs to be done and you guys are going to be reconnected to your tribe or your group or this friendship so if you had a friendship that went away with a Taurus they are going to want to heal this and return and have you on their side okay they're going to be healing this and return and wants you to be on their side so this is good the house of surrender the house of the the Pisces now some of you Pisces are um, releasing something and something unexpected is going to be coming up but it's going to be positive whatever is transpiring it's going to be very positive because it's a revelation some unexpected news about a cancer is going to come in some very unexpected news about the cancer is going to be coming in whatever this news about this cancer is so it's some unexpected news that you weren't aware of but it's going to give you luck okay it's going to give you luck some of you could be releasing a cancer some of you cancer could be releasing a pisces but unexpectedly it's as if you're going to understand each other it's as if there is not going to be like a, a long drawn out situation it's as if you understand that something and there is going to be changes but it's positive because Uranus is a break choose brainstorming so you and the cancer could be working on um, something and you both are going to be brainstorming okay it's about freedom it's about surprises um, unexpected surprises um, from a cancer and that sort of a thing so it's going to be good okay so whatever that was transpiring and whatever that was happening it's going to be um, good unexpected surprises for the Pisces so the Pisces out there um, subconsciously you're going to be it's as if you Pisces you Pisces are going to be returning to the Akashic record via the dream time and realizing something you're going to have forgiveness so it's going to be good because it's in your house, you Pisces. In your house, Uranus is coming with some unexpected surprise for you because you have been going through so much, okay? And these surprises are good because they're a synchronistic event that is going to be happening for you, Pisces, okay? I love you, water signs. Okay, so remember um check out the monthly reading i see three 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 so the ascendance masters are going to be protecting you guys and guiding you and protecting you three 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 is here and it's going to be good it's going to be wonderful whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring is just going to be very beautiful okay so one two um as of next month and it's only going to be in the on demand you can only pick it up on the on demand the extended readings and um, the full moon extended readings include in Elon, but it's include money, it include career work, and it include love relationship. It's a dollar ninety nine. If you have a PayPal address, you can use your email address with my email address and order it. Okay, so um, you go to PayPal and you make an order, and you can use my email address, which is info at catacomb.com. It's a dollar ninety nine. It is good to pick up these extended full moon readings because the full moon readings and the monthly readings are two different things. The full moon is about emotional situation that is going to be releasing 
or unexpected luck that is going to be coming in so that's how you should look at the full moon readings okay I want to say thank you so much for the like shares and support please share 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 these videos only never share the videos that you buy for a dollar ninety nine never share them um, advise people to buy them because it's your own private video okay so if you buy an extended reading that means the message in that reading was meant for you and this is the reason namaste mm -hmm.